Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back picking up from where I left off on how to discern a Jezebel spirit because somebody had asked me, like I said, to do this video and I'm doing it for them. Well, I'm doing it for everyone that needs to know, but I'm also answering a request. Um, I left off at pushy and domineering. Well, let me explain about subordinate a little bit. Um, Jezebel would never take the side of any person or any person in authority. They don't like to be a subordinate. So they're very insubordinate in nature. Um, unless it's something to make themselves look good or to gain brownie points. Like if somebody, for example, somebody trying to get a job promotion. They're going to try to make themselves look good to get that job promotion so the other person gets passed off on it. Um, so they will only be a subordinate if, if there's something in it for themselves. They will often take credit for somebody else's idea. Jezebel's main idea is to be in in control, you know, dominant and in power. They have no conscience, especially when an opportunity arises that they will gain recognition. A Jezebel spirit is very conniving and cunning. They will pressure you to do things. Um they will go through various measures. They will go through measures that can be anything from lying to you. I'll give you an example. I had a situation in one in in my job where there was a young lady that was applying for a promotion, actually. And she's a very reserved young lady, very conservative. Okay? And we happen to be dealing with a Jezebel at my job. So the Jezebel had pressured her to do something that was deviant against company policy. Ultimately, she ended up losing her job and a promotional opportunity altogether. So they will pressure you to do things. So basically depriving you or seeming to deprive you of your, your, of your um, ability to make the right choice or decision for yourself. They will make you feel condescending. They will say condescending things to you and sensitive things to you. They will, they will try to make you feel like you don't have enough common sense or intelligence to think for yourself that they have to think for you. Um, a Jezebel will often go through certain things to manipulate you to make a choice in their favor. They will even do attention getting tactics to make you do a choice in their favor. They will even, like I said, they will play on your sympathy. I said that in the part one of this video. They will play on your emotions. Okay. They're clairvoyant. Um, many who work or operate under the spirit have a clairvoyant spirit. Okay. For those of you that do not know what clairvoyant is, is I'm, not I'm not insulting your intelligence like everyone else. I have to look up the definition of the word, okay? Okay, so this is not to make you feel upset or whatever. This is a person that claims to have a supernatural ability or to perceive events in the future so or beyond normal sensory context. So this is a psychic. This is a person claiming to have psychic abilities, okay? A false perceptive spirit, if you will. Okay? So, um, a Jezebel is, a Jezebel has a supernatural help in knowing and sensing information. So, a Jezebel spirit often works behind a psychic spirit or, or a spirit of clairvoyance. Okay? So, if a Jezebel spirit knows something or they perceive to know something in advance, they're working with a psychic spirit. To work with a psychic spirit, you have to delve into the occult, witchcraft, tarot card reading, astrology, um, what else? Uh, occult numerology. The counterfeit numerology is the numerology of the Most High God, okay? Um, what else? Uh, tarot card reading and, and the occult and, and the like. Okay. 
So this is also indicating to you that this is a type of witchcraft spirit, a spirit that makes you spellbound. Now, if the Jezebel spirit uses their counterfeit sensory perception, their counterfeit um, discernment, their false psychic abilities, they will tell you, and again, working with the pride element, I can, I can tell... Oh, I can't, I can tell, I can't tell you how I know this. I just do. I can tell you don't know it, but I do. I can't tell you how I came about this information, but I just do know it. Like they're special and you're not. Like they are a prophet or prophetess of God and you're not. I'm not saying you're a prophet or whatever, but I'm just saying like, let me rephrase it. Like they're a prophet or prophetess of God and you could never be. Just like the Jezebel spirit, the Je Jezebel, the queen of Israel, she actually thought she was a prophetess of God and she wasn't. She was a false prophetess. Okay. Um, this Jezebel spirit works behind the Kundalini spirit, which is counterfeit to the Holy Spirit. I have videos on what the Kundalini spirit is. This is a type of spirit in the New Age movement. That also works behind yoga, Hinduism. Look it up. Look at my past videos. It goes into more detail about it. Because this video is focusing on the, on what Jezebel is. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, I belched. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. So, um, when they tell you, I don't, I know this. I don't know how, but I know it, and I can't tell you. I can tell you don't. This is not the Holy Spirit leading an individual like this. It is a Kundalini spirit, a spirit counterfeit to the Most High God, a clairvoyant or familiar spirit, a psychic spirit. Okay, um, a Jezebel, like I said, they want to be in control. They want to have power. They want to have respect. They want to always catch you off guard so it can be to their advantage. They will always use the element of surprise when it works well for them. Okay? I'll give you an example. They'll show up to something early, or they'll do something early, or they'll tell you, oh, I'm doing this early. I know we're supposed to do this tomorrow, but I'm going to do it now. I'll give you an example from a Christian point of view. Um, I know I was told to pray for two hours or three hours, but I'm going to pray for four. I wasn't going to fast today, but I'm going to do it today. I'm reading the word of God so I can get closer to God. That, that type of thing. Uh, uh, let me rephrase that, okay? It's good to be proactive in the Christian faith. So if you're saying you're going to pray early or do it or, 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 or fast early, or if the Holy Spirit told you to pray for three hours, you're going to pray for four. If you're doing it out of your heart to serve Jesus Christ and it's no and there's no hidden agenda or it's not for your personal gain or for your personal advantage or you're expecting something out of it, then that's good. But if you're doing it, what I'm, what I'm saying is Jezebels would use those tactics for their hidden agenda, for their personal gain, for, as long as it's something in it for them. They always want to have the element of surprise to be in control. It could be showing up a day early for a meeting to make them look good. It could be praying or fasting more than others to make them look good. A self-righteous Christian, for example, is led by Jezebel spirit. They think that they're better than other people because they say that, quote, unquote, they're not living in sin, but that person over there is drinking, so they're bad. That person can confess their sins and repent, assuming they didn't blaspheme the Holy Spirit, right? Amen? And that self-righteous Christians think that they're all that, that they're right with Jesus. Meanwhile, they're in sin for being self-righteous and for calling somebody else a fool. And the Lord says, when you call somebody else a fool, you are in danger of hell, of damnation. It's in the word. Look it up, guys. Look it up. What else? Um, they work behind a spirit of discord. So they sow spirits of discord. So a Jezebel... 
strives, they're conceited, they're self-centered, they are selfish, okay? They want to be better than anybody else in any kind of way. Their strategy, their strategy to attain that goal is to control, okay, by demeaning another person, by minimizing the contribution or an effort that person can make to society, a certain project, by demeaning that person as much as possible and devaluing them till that person feels like nothing inside. It is common, very common for a Jezebel spirit to tell you half-truths. to uh, incriminate another person or implicate another person in your eyes. To get two people to turn against each other or to get their supporters to turn against you. So I see Jezebel turn, get their subscribers on YouTube to turn against the true watchman on the wall for exposing them for being a false prophet because Jezebel is afraid of losing subscribers. Even in the world that happens. So they will use their supporters to attack you to implicate you, to incriminate you, or they will accuse another person right before your eyes. That is discord. Discord. Okay. By sowing these seeds of dis of discord, the Jezebel hopes. Okay, to cause division and destruction. Okay, to enhance their position of power. So, in other words to remain in control and in power to know that they did that situation nobody else did it the Jezebel wants to control every situation it doesn't matter what it is they always want to be the center of attention I told you that in the first video they live to be the center of attention they don't like to see others recognized for accomplishments that they attained that the Lord helped them to attain most importantly, um, when someone else is recognized, they will quickly undermine that person's accomplishment verbally. And I've seen it happen. They will say, oh, I did something better than that. Because this is a very competitive and prideful spirit too. And a spirit of jealousy, envy, self-righteousness. As I told you in the first video, this is a very vengeful spirit. Like I said, a Jezebel spirit is never wrong. If you try to confront one or contradict one or you disagree with one, they will make you enemy number one. If you aren't in agreement with the Jezebel spirit, everything's good. Everything's peachy. It's all good in the Jezebel's eyes. But if you confront or oppose or challenge a Jezebel spirit, you are the target of that, of that person's the Jezebel spirits, most vicious attacks and venomous vengeance. They will stop at nothing to destroy your reputation. There's a Jezebel spirit on here on YouTube, multiple ones that I expose that try to do that to me. Oh, this is a big one. They're all big, but this is a big one. When you're watching on the wall and you're exposing a false prophet, okay, and you don't agree with them, they got the nerve to call you a Jezebel spirit even when you got scripture in your hands supporting what you're seeing is true, okay? They will try to twist that and they will ignore scriptural backing, scriptural evidence. Okay, they will ignore it. Even when the truth is staring at them in the face, they will ignore it. And they will come up with their own doctrines and try to twist the word of God to support their own doctrines. You could take an orange, and tell them, look, this orange is orange. Look, the proof is right here. Look. They will still come up with another theory as to why that orange is orange when it should really be blue. You get where I'm going with this, ladies and gentlemen? The truth could be staring with them on the face, but this is a spirit that is blind to the truth. It is a blind spirit. A spirit of blindness. So, a Jezebel spirit is... If you don't have discernment, you're not strong in the spirit of God. If you're not strong in the Lord Jesus Christ, it can be a difficult spirit to deal with. So you have to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. Okay? If a Jezebel spirit is nearly, is, is about to be exposed or confronted, they will use their deception.